You have problems with the learning charge or can't figure out how to do it continuously. This video will show you an easy and very efficient way to deal with this tough trick. Hello, you're on Penstock and today I will show you a very good way to learn charge. It is not the same way as I showed in my previous video tutorial of this trick. If you haven't watched it, click the card or link in the description under this video. Watch it as well, it is always better to know different ways of learning new tricks in pen spinning, to find out which fits you more. But this one is a very good way to prepare it for charge continuous, which I will show you in the second part of this video. So, as you should already know, charge is one of the fundamental tricks in pen spinning. It looks like this and can be done continuously. Like this. To learn it, you'd better have a pretty long mod with a good momentum. So heavy ones like Ever chick samples, for example, will fit you just fine. It is also good because of having marked center so you can control position of your mod in a slot, but about that later. So take your mod in slot 1-2 or 2-3, whatever, whichever you think would be easier to learn in. It doesn't matter, I will show you in 1-2, just because, just because. Take your mod in 1-2 between index and middle fingers at its center of gravity. As you use balanced double capped mod, it should be its center. Don't tense your fingers, keep them relaxed, just make sure your mod doesn't fall out of a slot. At the same time it should move freely while you sway your hand. Now fold your fingers like that and place index a bit above other fingers behind the middle. So one of tips of your mod, the one which looks at you, would look up with an angle to, towards to thumb. Thumb is up, behind pen mod. It should not interfere pen's movement. Now straighten all fingers pretty fast, you need to straighten middle faster than index. Index will be placed a little bit in front of middle. And then move index above middle again, so it would be a bit behind middle. At the same time shift in position of your middle very slightly. After that return them in line. So without a pen mode the movement would look like this. As you can see I move index and middle synchronously. Just remember to keep your fingers pretty much relaxed and focused on circle movement of your mod. Repeat this movement for as long as you need to be able to keep mod moving in circles, as close to your palm as it is possible. I mean, this angle should be really sharp. And sharpness of angle is going to depend on how far you move index in front and behind the middle. Alright, now I will show you how to do charge continuously, but before that make sure you joined our Discord server to keep in touch with our little but very friendly community, where you can meet parent spinners from all over the world. Link in the description. Also, make sure you share this video with the beginners when you see them crying for help with charge. So, you have learned how to do one revolution of charge, but it is not enough, at least how you think it is. In fact, you wouldn't use charge continuous much when you go further in pen spinning. But at first, at the beginning, yeah, yeah, sure, it looks sweet, something to show off. When you will learn it, people would think that you are a professional drummer, lol. So after you make the first circle motion, instead of returning pen and fingers to initial position, continue to move them. You need to bend and straighten middle a little and move index as well. You need to learn how to do two circles now. For the first move, you bend your fingers pretty much. Now you need to do similar movement, but with a smaller amplitude. It is going to take you some time, but keep on practicing till you can make two charges. And after that just add another one, third, then fourth, etc, etc. First you need to learn it adding charges one by one, then you can begin to try to make charge continuously. During this trick you will need to focus on your middle or ring, whatever finger is under a pen mod. 
Doing continuous charge, this finger should move with bigger amplitude than the one which is above. At this step you don't bend your fingers much, index doesn't go in front and behind middle. You focus on keeping mode in slot holding it by its center. That's when marked center would come in handy, because it is the most important and difficult part of charge continuous. You will see that your pen mode always tries to shift in slot and this shifting is what you desperately need to avoid, as it is going to slow down movement and eventually ruin the trick. How do you keep your pen mode in the right position? by loosening grip of your fingers. When you see that your pen mode begins to slide to the outer side of your hand, spin it till it gets up at that side and loosen fingers so it could drop down. When you see that it slides to palm, loosen them when it is up from inner side of your hand. Make this adjustment slightly, don't loosen fingers for too long and catch pen mode when its center is in slot. You will see that during these adjustments your mod would like bounce in slot. In most cases loosening is going to happen by means of index fingers movement up and down, away from middle and closer to it. That's where this feeling of bouncing comes from. Part of the time pen mod would spin on middle finger more than in slot, till you return it back where it should be placed. And your index will hit it from different sides, trying to keep it in balance on middle. Practice it and don't complain that you can't keep mod in slot holding it by its center. I wish you good luck with this trick, it is hard and mastering it will take you a long time of practicing. But when you will feel that you mastered it, let us know how long time did it take in the comment section below this video. I am Alex Sukhov, may the style be with you. Bye.